Hard Love tells the story of two people caught between faith and passion, between love and loss. When I saw you following in her footsteps, when I saw you blindly becoming enslaved I to him. I didn't hate. follow in her footsteps. I struggled for my faith. You struggled until you lost me. I didn't lose you. You gave me up for some kind of free thinking I don't understand to this day. I... I gave you up. And even though this is a very different type of Judaism than the kind that I grew up in, there's, there's something a little bit like coming home to the feel of this. You're not the man I married. You're not even the man I divorced. You've not only changed your name, you've become as evil as the world you live in, and as evil as the people in your books. I want you to leave. I have nothing more to say. You think you can tell me to come, and I'll come, and then just tell me to go, and I'll go? You can't play with me like that. For 20 years, I have tried to reach out to you to talk to you, to understand you, to understand what happened to us, to heal this wound. And for 20 years you've rejected me. I didn't come all this way just to pull your chestnuts out of the fire. And you have two people who love each other so very much, who uh, see life really quite differently, and then watching them sort of fight to find a middle ground. Have you lost your mind? Yeah, well, then why else would you invite me here when your husband is in the hospital and Rivka is at your mother's? Why? I mean, don't be afraid of the truth, honey. You knew I was about to get a divorce, so why did you invite me here all alone?